Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out the 2021 Tips and Tricks series. This is the first of, uh, well, it's middle of January, but this is the first one for the season. And I have a desire to update a video that I haven't updated since our very first year. And that is on our PPD preset effects. Stay tuned, you're about to learn some more. Hey guys, Clyde here. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can download free preset effects. Uh, each month you get one if you're not in the club. If you're in the PPD club, you have access to more, and you'll see that in just a moment. But uh, first, I want to do a little bit of explanation. Uh, if you have a matrix or a mega tree, those are what our preset effects usually are built on. And they, they'll work on anything. But keep in mind, uh, we label them for the, the prop that we extracted them from to share with you. And that's that way you can get the best idea or understanding of what exactly we're trying to do with that effect. Um, because if you put this uh, that effect on the matrix, it may not look the same as whenever you put it on the mega tree. Uh, specifically, the mega tree has a conical shape. Um, it, it, it may, and we'll get into it, um, it may look one way on the tree, but it may look completely, it'll look the same on the matrix, but it won't have the same appearance. So just be aware of that. Uh, all preset effects do something. The challenge is, is that it is, is getting it to look really cool for that specific part of the sequence. So just because you have a preset doesn't mean that it's going to just, okay, I put a preset down and it, it's not really particularly interesting. It was interesting for that part of the song where I was sequencing and that's why we decided to share it with you guys. So with that being said, um, if we go over to the PPD website, oops, and we go ahead and click on the PPD club. Down here on the left-hand side, it says PPD Club's uh, Sequence Club Effects Preset. Go ahead and click on that link. And what will happen is if, you, if you're not a club member, the, you can go right to this page and you can download one free preset each and every month. That's how you do it. That's all there is to it. You can click this and download it. But if you are a member, you can log in. And I'll log in here. <clears throat> and you can see now that you're logged in, you have access to a few more presets. We do hold the previous month's presets until the end of the next month. So uh, it's January. At the end of January, the 1st of February, we'll remove the December presets and move the January presets down below. And you still have time to get those if you know, you're in the club, but we don't hold all the presets on the website. We don't uh, keep track of them all uh, other than... Um, just on a bi-monthly basis, I do switch them out. So uh, with that being said, don't forget, to, if you're a club member, to go ahead and download your preset effects. Uh, from there, uh, what I'm going to do, let's let's go ahead and just select one of them. And uh, the video we're recording today, yeah, that's, uh, that's replacing this specific video that's located right there. So uh, let's go ahead and click on, let's try week number two. And you'll see that it's downloading here. And I'll go ahead and close out of this screen, and we'll go right into X Lights. So um, I am in the 2021.1 version of X Lights, and I'm going to do a new sequence. I'm going to do done, and I'm going to switch to the PPD group view because it's easier. And I'm going to take my finger. I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the uh, screen here uh, on the timing grid here, and I'm going to hit the lowercase letter T. That puts a timing mark down. That allows me to select an area of the grid that I want to, um, that I want to uh, place the effect, right? Okay, so next what we're going to do to bring that preset that we just downloaded, it's in our download folder. Uh, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on effect presets and we're going to select import. From here, uh, in Windows, I'm just going to navigate to my downloads, and right here you can see we have uh, uh, we have the uh, January 21 week two tree X preset. So let's go ahead, double click on it, and it brings it right in, and now it's ready to be applied. So there's a few things that you need to know before we go any further. You see this number here? There's a number four and a comma. That means that this preset requires four layers 
in order to lay it down to see the whole thing. So so let's go ahead and expand our mega tree. This is this is our tree effect. So let's go ahead and expand our mega tree. Right click over top of the column here, over top of the prop and let's insert multiple layers. We need at least, we have one layer, we need at least four, so let's change that number to three. Three plus one is four. Bam, you got four layers. And what I'm gonna do now is just select the preset effect and we can click apply a preset, okay? Now, this is kinda weird, but that's okay, that life goes on. Um, there's, it looks like there's an effect missing. No, it's just how the effect was layered with other effects, and I selected it whenever I created it, and it shows four layers, but it only actually needs three layers. But as you can see, this is a preview of the model. If you don't see a preview right away, click on this button here, this model preview here. That, that will open and activate that screen. It should pop up on your screen somewhere and you'll be able to see what exactly it is the preset effect does. Uh, so let's go ahead, and now, now you can see that it's on the model, the tree there. Let's go ahead and copy and paste it um, to the matrix so that you can see the difference in how they are uh, rendered. Now we can, let's add another one here. Oops, that kind of fast there. Insert layer below. There we go. So now let's just lay it down. There we laid down the preset effect there. And this is a matrix. This is a matrix we're looking at. So uh, if we go to the garage view, let's look at the let's look at the garage view. Where is it at? Here we go. It's on my other screen. So this is the whole house preview, and this is what this is this this looks. In my opinion, this looks a little more interesting on the tree than it does on the matrix. And it's not that it doesn't look interesting, but because of the conical shape of the tree, it has that kind of twist around. And this looks a little more appealing, in my opinion. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, if you have a different prop, you can always place it on those specific props and do different cool stuff with it. So that is how you get your preset effects into x Lights. Now, what about if you created a preset and you want to export it and put it in another version of X-Lights. Uh, well, first of all, you can have two instances of X-Lights open. And uh, if you have two instances of X-Lights open, you can just select these, right-click, copy, and then switch over to the other version of X-Lights and paste it in there. If you're transferring it from one machine to another, you want to do what we call an export of a, pre, uh, of a preset. So you have to create a preset here first and what we'll do is we will uh, oops what we'll do is we'll select here new preset and I'm going to to call this new preset and that just created a copy of that preset right there and now you can see instead of four layers it says three which it's sh uh, which is probably what I should have done I didn't realize that it said four that whenever I did that but um, but then I can now export the preset and save it here and then whenever you go in to open up a different version of X lights you can then go to import and wherever your downloads are wherever you save that to you can bring that in and there's your new preset there to import into your other layout if that's what you're trying to do. So folks, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you for joining us. Uh, all the best to you in 2021. We really hope that you have uh, a lot of fun learning, a lot of fun uh, uh, getting into the spirit of, of, of creating this uh, awesome display that you're working on for, for the season to share with your family, your friends, and and your neighborhood and, and your community. So um, if you like the video, please hit the big like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. A lot more content is coming uh, for 2021. We have webinars coming up. And also, uh, if if you appreciate what we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, uh, we all of our videos are free. If, if you like what we do, please consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. That's one way that you can support us for the work that we put out. We do give you one awesome sequence each and every month. And... By all means, feel free to share our videos so that if other people are struggling or having trouble, that this video might find a way to help somebody else that needs the help. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.